Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I am super excited to have John Gress back here on the channel. And we're planning to go over a couple of images that were submitted to him. Some distortion in here. Anyway, we're going to uh, critique some images that were sent in and I'm not sure what is going on here, but we're just gonna. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Just roll the intro already. Well, I want to thank John for hopping in on my channel and handling that uh, intro role at the beginning. And uh, what we're going to do today is try something a little different than I've done on this channel before. We're going to run through uh, a couple of images here and kind of give our thoughts as we go through them about uh, how we can possibly, uh, what would we have possibly done differently and maybe you know, give pointers on how to improve these images. And from the onset, I just want to say that uh, you know, photography and uh, critiquing, it's all you know, subjective. Uh, but I do feel like some of the greatest growth we can gain as photographers is getting some constructive feedback on our work and kind of uh, taking that in and moving forward uh, with that, that knowledge uh, and you know, applying that possibly to our next photo shoots uh, that come ahead. Uh, and you know, just basically moving our work to the next level. So with that being said, I wanna just welcome John back on here. And John, we're gonna, I guess, scroll through some of these images and, and, and see what turns up. Yeah, thanks for having me and thanks for um, doing this last week over on my channel. Yeah, yeah, I meant to say that as well. John was nice enough to have me over on his channel and uh, I didn't, didn't completely trash the place, so uh, he was nice enough to come on to mine this it time. Was close. <laughs> so we'll see what happens after this. Hopefully we're still uh, talking to each other. Uh, but here, we'll, uh, we'll start with this first image. Um, John, looks like we've got uh, a sports portrait uh, here. Um, when I first look at this, it's it's got some nice lighting. I'm picking up. Um, we've got some, you know, yellow on the jersey, uh, and I believe that's we might have a gel light coming from uh, camera left, uh, kind of an edge light. Uh, and it looks like it's gel to possibly match the uniform. Um, and when I look at this, what I might have done is just rotate uh, this player slightly toward camera, so we're not getting that uh, edge so. It's, it's kind of creeping into his eye um, on the camera left, his right eye. And it might be a little bit hot as well, so it might be maybe a stop over. So that's something to kind of play with. But I, I just feel like if you rotated him around slightly, um, we wouldn't have that creep in uh, on his eye. And then uh, we, you might have to adjust the light on the other side too for when you do um, kind of rotate that. So it could be a, a thing where you actually move that edge light back uh, somewhat yeah, so th th this highlight that's on uh, the camera right is like uh, on his nose that's like one of my pet peeves and it's coming into its eye too so I, whenever I'm doing that I like to kind of keep it out of the eye just kind of where you can kind of see it down the edge of the the face it's kind of to accentuate like what he's got going on here with his, his jawline um, but it's just a little little overdone um, you know where it comes from that aspect on that. Yeah, I would have thought about, it looks like we have a, a light coming from, uh, it's coming from camera right from the top in the back. And I would have moved that over behind him more so we get a full amount of separation across here and the whole top of his head. He's sort of blending in a little bit there. Um, and of course, exactly what you said about turning him to, uh, to uh, camera uh, turning him to his left and then getting him more in that uh, beam of light overall just would have had things uh, looking better. So yeah, It looks like he might have been off center of, like if you were to set a mark down uh, on your set, it looks like he was oh. maybe a step off to the side because that overhead looks like it's hitting his, his left shoulder and then you can see it down on his hand too that's on his hip. Uh, so I just... <laughs> Yeah, so he might have been off and your lights could have been correct or, you know, if the other case, um, 
you know, was, was the, what was going on, then that overhead would kind of need to be shifted over a little bit. Because uh, I feel like if he rotates, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to get that kind of Rembrandt drop off on one side of the face. And it was, uh, I know these are tough too, because uh, these guys come in and if you're working with a full team, you got to be quick with them. Uh, but I think the, the idea is, is good on this image. It just, um, he's either a little bit off or the lights are just a little bit off placement for, for some of these. Yeah, I, I think I did a USA Baseball shoot once where I had them for 90 seconds. I had to like do seven poses in 90 seconds. So if this was like that, we can't we can't fault all the time. Right, right. No, it's it's just kind of a bang, bang, bang type of thing. But it's just something to kind of look at because it was sent in for us to take take a look at, and that's kind of what pops in my head when I when I view this image. And then here's another nice uh, sports portrait. Um, I like the, the graphic kind of nature where you've got his dark skin with the white background. You've got some nice highlighting on the uh, on his back, showing off uh, the muscles and kind of on, on the chest there, you're getting the, the six pack that I kind of wish I had. <laughs> the only, the couple things, and you got nice lighting too on the, uh, the logo um, and the, the football there. I'm not sure if the watch, I don't know if, if that bothers you. You know, most guys, if they're playing football, and I see on the other hand, he's got a bracelet too. You might want to lose those uh, on a sports portrait like this. And then um, just looking kind of at his, uh, some of the posing, this might be uh, just a little bit nitpicky, but maybe his rear hand where he's not, he's kind of got like a claw thing going on, maybe where he's maybe got like a fist or maybe his fingers out. Um, and then his expression. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the raised eyebrow there, but uh, those are just kind of minor things. But I think that, you know this is a solid um, you know piece right here. Um, just a couple odds and ends. And then I'm not sure about the crop on the top. I don't know if he had you know some dreads going up up high, and it just didn't kind of work with the full layout. But um, you know it's you know I like the lighting overall. Just a few things probably with um, his accessories and then some some posing notes. Um, um, throw it to you, John, see what you think about what's going on here. Yeah, that's a, a great catch on the accessories um, because, yeah, like I remember now whenever I was doing these NFL shoots, we would take everything off of them before they got on camera. And they're kind of like wondering why you're doing that. Earrings and everything. So um, The key is to make sure they remember yeah. them uh, after the shoot. <laughs> right, exactly. Or go to the pawn shop afterwards. Um, the... Uh, yeah, I'm totally with you with that hand. Um, the only uh, one thing I could think of that I think uh, might help too is um, just cropping, moving that bottom crop up about two inches and eliminating the top of the pants there. I love the way that that light is accentuating his back um, over here on uh, on camera right. It's just it's just a wonderful shape. So um, yeah, so what you said. And let's move to the next one here. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I, this I, is kind of more in your ballpark, John, so I'm gonna let you start off with this one and then I'll see if I have anything worthwhile to, uh, to add. <laughs> sure thing. Um, thank you. The thing I see uh, most of the time, uh, okay, so great film noir in that we've got our background highlight there right behind the subject. We've got strong lighting on the upper body. We've got that nice shadow going across there, across the floor with some nice um, uh, marbling of the light, so to speak, in that lower area. So that's the uh, lower part of the frame. So that those parts are all great. Um, some things I might have done to improve it would be to increase the contrast a little bit and that's so that we get these highlights that are in the top half of the frame to be less gray and to get them to be uh, more uh, pushing them more towards white um, or um, pushing them you know to that that end of the the histogram one thing that i'm always looking out for in pictures is whether or not i can see both hands because a lot of times i feel like if you can only see um like we're not seeing over here on camera right like we're missing an arm so if you just kind of turn slightly now all of a sudden we've got the idea that there's we see both arms and it makes me feel more comfortable as the viewer but when i only see 
when that whole arm is missing, it just feels a little strange to me. So that's, those are some things I would have done to, to kick it up a notch. Yeah, I think uh, when I look at this type of uh, image, it's kind of some of what exactly what you just said, that uh, this, it kind of makes me want to, I guess the lighting here is, is wanting me to kind of zoom in a little bit closer. Uh, and that's, you know, really oh. about it for, for, for what I kind of see on this. I like the pose, I like, you know, her, her angling with her hand, um, you know, all that, uh, it works, you know, really nicely for me. Like mid thigh is what you're thinking instead. Right, right. Kind of coming okay. in, uh, just to, to I don't, maybe just come in. Because you know, it's. I think everything else with the pose is great. I'm not sure exactly because the, you know, the lower half of the image is is not being exposed, and so. Um, but then again, that that's uh, you know falls back to artistic expression. Oh yeah, sure, absolutely. All right, so let's move to what we have next here. And once again, um, I'm gonna throw this back to you, John, to let okay. you uh, start off on this one. But I, you know, I like, you know, I guess I will speak a little bit here at the beginning. I do like uh, her pose. It's, it's kind of interesting how they brought in the chair and then worked her uh, body angle and, you know, everything she's got going there. You got these large hoop um, earrings, uh, which are different. Um, and it's like, uh, I mean, I just, I kind of like the leg kick out. Um, there's some really kind of neat uh, angular uh, things that are going on with this image here that I think are working. Yeah, the composition, the angles, the posing, it's all great. Um, the earrings too, the, the dress being stretched there between her, uh, her shins, I really, her lower leg, I really like all of that stuff. I just kind of wish that we could bring that, um, bring the light, wrap it around a little bit so we could get it under her right eye. I think that would just sort of improve the image. Oh, <laughs> well, all right, you have helped me out. Yeah, so this is exactly what I was thinking, that we just need to, um, we just need to bring it around. And, and it, it adds more humanity, I think, when you get light on both eyes and sort of helps the viewer connect a little bit. It doesn't have to be front lit, but just a little bit of a uh, little something helps. <laughs> well, we, and we did plan that a little bit at the beginning, so I, I didn't we totally did. ambush John <laughs> with, with that image, but we... And my acting was not that good, but I tried. <laughs> but I, I thought it was, you know, we both thought it was a good example of, of how things, you can shift things around uh, during a shoot, and so you can have it one way and, you know, obviously a second way and kind of cover yourself and, and maybe, you know, after the fact, see what was working. Uh, and, and what you know you, you might like at the end of the shoot more so than than before or maybe even during the shoot and so this way you kind of cover with lighting here uh, two different totally um two do, totally different kind of aspects of the lighting on her face something more graphic and then something that's you know a little more um appealing to someone who would like john who likes to uh, have you know both eyes lit and <laughs> and showing the humanity or, or at least maybe uh, really solid catch lights in both eyes. Yeah. Now I am a, I, a I, fan of the catch lights and the lights too. Um, the, I love uh, strip light catch lights from the side because it just sort of creates this perfect curvature, and I'm always, always enjoying that. Um, and speaking of curvature, the other thing I'm thinking as I'm looking at this is, what if we liquefied uh, that right shoulder? and pushed it into her back so that it was a complete straight line coming up here on, on camera right. Where it just, it could work. I think we might've had that before in the other frame. So just something to think about. No, I think, I think that's, that's a great, um, you know, yeah, I can see where, you know, with the angle and everything where that could, um, you know, add a little more symmetry, I guess, to what, what was going on here in this, this image. Uh, but, you know, I like the pose and there's a little bit of attitude going on here, which is always fun. And uh, it looks like there was a, a you know, a real connection between um, the photographer and the model and, and working out these different poses and, um, and the emotion in the face. So let's kick into this next image here. 
And so this is, um, I can kind of see what, what's going on here. I've uh, been here and done some stuff like this before. This looks like it's probably one light uh, on our football player. And I, it's positioned nicely and I like uh, the head position. You can kind of, you can see the shadow. Sometimes you have to watch out where that shadow falls uh, on the eyes of the player. And this is, you, you've worked it right in there nicely. I like the pose. Um, it's kind of like a pre-snap pose, I like to uh, say. Another thing I always look forward to on these are the pads and the pants, uh, so they don't look like pajama bottoms. And you've got them going here, uh, and that looks really nice. Uh, if you, you know, I'm not sure of the situation here, you might just be set with one light, and that's kind of you know, basically what you have to go with. But uh, for a shot like this, where you're working a stadium light uh, on one side of the frame like this, you know, my tendency when I look at this would be to possibly have added another light to that side, which would accentuate kind of what is going on with that stadium light. So that it would be, um, you know, probably given just a little bit more or a little bit of an edge uh, to like that player's left arm, the back side of that where there's a shadow now, then you would maybe have a, a bit of a highlight that might round up the top of the shoulder pad there and, and then, you know, kiss off the side of the helmet. So. That would, to me, bring him more into the, what's going on in the background of this image and kind of round it out a little bit better. But I, you know, I like the uh, the pose. Um, I would probably have taken something like this, like like you, you've showed here, and then, you know, where he's kind of looking off camera, um, where you're, where he's positioned. I, you know, him maybe looking forward would be okay. Another option too, but I think you know looking at camera and then maybe off to the left a little bit but the only other main thing would be just to add one light is, is kind of what comes to me how about you john uh so as i look at the picture the first thing that's sort of distracting to me are the pants and they're being too bright and then i'm feeling like the ground is a little too dark so i know i'm going to say something that's going to be a little bit in conflict but i'm wondering if the light is close enough to the subject that it's lighting is upper body and enough of his pants but not but so close that it's not hitting the ground and i feel like we just need a little bit of detail there in the ground so i'm wondering what would happen if we move the light back slightly and then that would allow some more light to hit the ground but then i'd also want to flag it a little bit um, so that there was less light uh, going to the pants um, over here on camera left because a lot of times what i'm thinking about is just sort of having um, less light coming through. Um, I'm always thinking about dodging and burning in post. So if, if I can flag those parts that are too bright in reality, then that hopefully will get us to where we need to be afterwards. Now I realize that if we flag the pants, we might darken the grass too much. And so then we could just dodge the grass just a little bit. And my idea of moving it back might not work. We might just want to stay in close put the flag in, and then dodge the grass. So there could be two approaches. And I, I like your idea of adding that, um, that additional kicker to sort of simulate the stadium light. Um, the other thing I was thinking of maybe is adding a third light where we add a strip softbox over there and maybe gelled uh, yellow or orange. Because I'm just thinking about, like you were thinking about bringing that stadium light into the shot. Right. But then I'm also thinking about bringing that sunset light into the shot. And I don't, I don't know, um, I do feel like our face should be daylight. And maybe if that edge is half CTS, color temperature straw, or half light yellow, or <coughs> light orange, color temperature orange, I wonder if it's like a half over there. And then I wonder, would you ever consider gelling the stadium light? Because in old times, olden times, they were sort of greenish. Um, <laughs> But I don't know that that's a good combination. No, I, I might be you adjusting my white balance gel? at that point. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, exactly. But no, those are all uh, you know good points. And, and there and again, I mean, like we said, this, this is a good image to start with, but then these are just tips, uh, pointers, where we might uh, look at something like this and where it can be elevated to uh, yet an, another level. And I think we'd go from, from this image to one okay. more. Yep, Perfect. one more sports image here. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, when I see this, I, this is, uh, I mean, I, I like what's going on with the lighting here. This looks like you've got uh, a couple edge lights uh, going and you've got uh, like a, probably like a beauty dish or something um, that's coming from, from up here. I can see it in her eyes. Uh, but to me, uh, I, 
I know this looks like uh, kind of like a volume type shot where you're getting uh, the players to come in and do certain poses and, and you're probably requested to do certain types of poses. Uh, but you know, you see this type of pose a lot uh, where you got the player, whether it's football, basketball, anything where they kind of squeeze in the ball. So that's where I would, you know, if you're delivering these for clients and they like these, I would kind of keep it on the client side. But if I was going to show off uh, some images and it might be something where, you know, I took something like this, but went in uh, just a little more of a unique uh, direction. So with the ball placement, um, with her expression, uh, here she's, she's a little bit on the deadpan side. So, you know, maybe get her to work her eyes a little bit where the, she's a little more, you know, intense in the face. Uh, maybe, you know, angle her a little bit more, that type of thing. Just, um, I think you've got a good um, base for the lighting. I just think the posing and uh, the expression of our athlete here are kind of where this one dips down a little bit. Uh, and, um, and that's kind of holding this one back for me somewhat. So I think you know, those two things, you work on those, you've got some, some decent, you know, nice lighting here. And I think that would kind of raise, um, you know, the level of this type of image and the uniqueness um, for, you know, what we're doing. Uh, with an image like this. And like I said, this could be something that, you know, is requested. I know you get certain poses and stuff that everyone wants to do that, but uh, whenever I'm doing these types of shoots, I will always, hopefully, or I will, I will try to have just, a, you know, a minute or 30 seconds and just say, hey, can we try something like this? And then hopefully, you know, you get something that's magical with uh, certain athletes. They all aren't going to do it, but uh, are they just, you know, just, just not, the, maybe they're, it's not the right day for them, but uh, that's where I usually grab or I can kind of capture the images that I will show uh, on my Instagram or, or other places in my portfolio, that type of thing, and not just the, the can type images that, that everyone's kind of doing. So I'm going to throw it back to you, John, see kind of what you, what you feel. Well, the, the first thing I'm feeling about is maybe adding a hair light. <laughs> I know that's kind of always my answer. <laughs> But I do recognize that if the smoke were really there in the scene, and um, I, I won't make a judgment on that either way, if you add the hair light with real smoke, you can end up with white smoke up there, and it's not very uh, not a good look. So, um, so I'll say it with that caveat that yes, if it's a composite, the hair light, but if not, and I just mean something very subtle, just to get the top of the head to have some detail and a little uh, separation there. Uh, the other thing, if it is volume, I kind of am surprised, uh, not surprised, that's not a very good way to word it. Okay, so the first thing I'm thinking of looking at this pose is if she lowers the ball to cover her number, we're gonna see the name of the team and it's gonna say Redbirds or something really big. And that seems like something we might wanna see in, in volume shots. Um, the other thing I'm thinking about is a pose variation. Uh, would be, you know, this is, this happens. It's not often that this happens in the game. It's more likely we're gonna see this or this, and they're gonna be pulling it back and trying to keep it away from the defender. Um, so I kind of, I could see something more active like that as opposed variation. Um, but I'm with you on, all, on everything else, of course. And, um, and so, yeah, that's about it. Can't agree enough. All right, well, I think that might wrap us up here, John. I appreciate you coming on here um, and actually you know, joining me on my channel. And so we could do uh, something a little bit different, run through some uh, photos like this. And uh, if y'all would like to see more like this, you know, please let me know in the comments. But thanks again, John. All right, well, that's about it for today's critique. Hopefully, uh, we'll do this again in the future. And I just want to thank y'all for watching. And if you did pick up a nugget or two, uh, please uh, give me that thumbs up. That helps the uh, video tremendously. If you want to see more content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe uh, button down below and the bell next to it so YouTube will let you know when I'm here next time. Uh, and you can always find me as well on social media at Quants Photo on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> Struggling here. Uh, stay safe and healthy out there. And I hope... Not, not this again, uh, but I hope uh, to be here soon in the future. I think he'd be better at this. He's been doing YouTube for like a year and he's still kind of... Uh.